Hello, hello, who are you? Welcome to Mr. Who Reviews. Today, I'm in Doctor Who, The Ark of Affinity. Um, this is the first story for season 20. Um, it's a decent start with the Omega coming back and the Time Lords forcing the Doctor to go back to Gallifrey since. Uh, Omega is trying to take over, or just take the Doctor's uh, body image, or something. Mm. Um, Colin Baker actually plays uh, Commander Maxwell in this, and I think he does a decent job. Just uh, forcing uh, the the law on the some of the Time Lords and just ob and obeying it blindly. Oh yeah, and also in this uh, Perusa is a, pre a Lord President in this, and this is before the fifth do or five Doctor, so. Mm. Uh, I think like the Time Lords are so scared that Antimatter might come into the universe that they're willing to kill the Doctor since he's connected to this, to this thing. The Time Lords person helping Omega uh, did something to the machine, they were planning to execute the Doctor Way and put his mind into uh, the Matrix. Um, I have to say, the Matrix doesn't look that good, as good as they look back in uh, the Deadly Assassin. Just said uh, some uh, digital lines in a black space, but. Mm. And Omega never really seen that good either, like the costume, the guy voicing him. I don't know. I don't really have to sing Whisperer. Oh yeah, it turns out uh, Tegan put back in this and also she got a uh, can from her job. Yeah, in the end, they didn't have to say that the, the team missed Tegan, but like all the time in the is, is different from outside, but how long have they been, how, how long has they been uh, uh, the Tegan been Gone. And how long does he have her job? Or is this just connected to the uh, big famous uh, audio stories that have uh, the fifth doctor and Nissa does in it? Because I know that uh, the story of spare parts is between this and time flight, so. Oh. And look, do you like kind of get the continuity? In this, like they mentioned, the Doctor not bringing back uh, Romana and uh, Damon, who I think was the person that Lita fell in love with back in the Invasion of Time, is in this, so it's good. I oh, yeah, the person helping uh, Omega, I won't say who it is, but I'll just say, say the butler. Butler did it. I want his uh, sensitor, uh, uh, clock or something. Believe that the, the Lord present is one that helping the doctor and the, the two are in cahoots of destroying Gallifrey or something. Yeah, it also shows how easily uh, the time was be manipulated and them taking it couldn't be a traitor. Among them, in though, uh, back in Daddy Assassin, there was a traitor and some other uh, time or stories where there's some sort of traitor. Uh, don't know. And uh, let's see, let's see what else. Um, I mean, you go to always, and I don't know if they're actually in Amsterdam in this or there was a. Uh, Sane there, but uh, it look good. And on the days, and seemed to play uh, Omega pretty well with the sort of time. Omega had the doctor's uh, uh, body print, or whatever. And the doctor actually shoots Omega in this. So, hmm. Yeah, he shoots Omega, but he hesitates to shoot Davros. I guess they just felt he had no other choice pursuing nothing about. Hmm. 
Uh, they got like the Mega Pork. They did on the Pure Days, and that's only good when it, the anti matter and stuff is said come back on them. It's pretty good. And I don't know how the doctor didn't recognize. Oh my god, yes, it's a different suit and voice, but I thought Time Lord was gonna get a sense he saw her. Uh, oh yeah, and this is uh, also the episode where Mrs. saying to the doctor that he would be, he's probably lying about the time being in a state of tranquility and that guns can't fire. This one. Um, that the uh, let's kill uh, Hitler wasn't the one that broke this. I think uh, the Urshock was the one that proved that the wrong, but whatever. Uh, what the what the else? Yeah, some of the, the costumes for uh, Galfrey or the Galfrey and characters were pretty good. And two of, or three of them actually come back, or the characters come back in uh, the Five Doctors. So, I think that's good. And, uh, yeah, it's a pretty good episode and a pretty good start of the season, but it's not like a brilliant rating. And they, they say that the Mrs. Artigan's uh, cousin was sick and then she called the hospital, but then Sean Green brought the hospital. I don't know. I guess they just had, had to cut corners. I kind of have a funny when that they find someone that that uh, uh, I'm gonna, uh, bumped into and the doctor saying that he'd be fine and this and he just gone same but then because I start coming back to so saying he'll be fine. Seems like he's in a hurry or something. And the same with the 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 period days and. I'm gonna watch a creepy pop show and just smiling to a little boy. It was, it was such a good, uh, uh, a decent scene, that's all I'll say. But, hmm. I mean, next time will be a better episode, or at least the ending of the episode is uh, the best part of it. So, until next time, I'll see you guys later.